Okay, audio's rolling. If I start talking like that, audio's rolling. I, you said that and then you like pressed in your earbuds and I know the wax fucking smushed and like stuck for a second and then popped back out. No, I have clean ears. Welcome to this episode of Emergency Intercom. Josie is blocking my good light, but that's okay because it doesn't matter because I look good regardless. You literally it's are. You have light. a gun in it's your hand and you're light. scaring He literally me. has a gun in his hand and it's like actually know, so well, Oh. <gasps> you're lucky that it's wasn't that loaded. easy for you? Okay. Well... This episode, I have something to admit right off the bat. Okay, what is it? The one thing about me that's not hygienic, as hygienic as a person as I am. One of you freaks I know has noticed that I don't have all my earrings in my ear. Because you're a freak and you probably look at my ears and you want to literally stick your finger in my ear. I do have an ear kink. Um, But I don't take out my earrings nearly enough and wash them. So my earlobes do be smelling Stop. like pussy cobbler fart box pie. <laughs> you know, I did see the earrings in one of my shot glasses in the kitchen. Or in no, the I didn't put it in a shot glass. It was the, in the plastic the, one. Yeah, and I saw like the water had gotten cloudy from it being Because I put like alcohol That's in it. It's funny that you had a hygiene note because somewhere in here, I think I have a hygiene note That's too. the one thing about me. Okay, y'all need to stop interacting because we're literally trying to like do our service to the people and obviously you don't find that like a respectable thing and you think it's funny to interrupt us when this i'm saving lives right now what are you doing you're fiddling your fucking thumbs and playing with your balls there's a lot of people We're oh you can't put banned. that in frame motherfucker you have to blur that <sighs> thanks josiah thank you so much yeah, thanks literally. for adding to our Holy friend's shit. workload now you gotta give him a different kind of load to ease also, the tension. Also, I literally just woke up. I'm I'm like rebooting. I ate, <laughs> I ate KFC hot chicken, uh, Nashville hot chicken, and it actually like, it didn't make me feel like shit, but it gave me narcolepsy, and I had to literally just go and <laughs> Dude, fall asleep. Literally, when I saw you eating, I was like, you know, you're not supposed to be doing. That before <laughs> yeah, we I know, work. I know. I Drew can't. literally can't have a meal before we work. It's like unreal. But I had to today because we started late. Because yeah. I had a workout session that I slept in for. You look beautiful today, by the way. Really? What about me? Come on, me next. No, you me look next. you look gorgeous too. You guys both look okay. Super it was sexy. slow, but I'll take it. Yeah, you look gorgeous too. Um, but. I mean, in those pictures that uh, Zamar took for Mason's brand, I looked really good, too. You did look sexy in them. I and was you, like, damn. I hate my fucking broken hair at the top, though. I hate it so much. You just got to get nothing, a little... It's because of the I caps, too. So you just got to get a haircut and stop wearing your hats because it's the hats making the breakage. I think what it also is, is when I wash my hair, it's... Vi or when I dry my hair, it's, like, violent. Like, I'm concussing myself. Like, I'm like... You got to get a... There's a microfiber towel specifically also for curly hair. Um, And I used to use one, but I, like, refuse to let my hair dry. I blow dry my hair now. I tried to do it today because I was looking at your hair yesterday in the car and I was like, you know what? I should let my you curly hair live. You were inspired by my hair. Yeah, and I was like, I should let my curly hair live. And then like I saw like, especially because these, since these are so short, they were like doing the thing where they curl up a lot. And I was like, eh! Yeah, it was it was giving um, every girl that saw those photos of me were like, damn, like he has like really luscious hair. Um, and I want to pull it off his fucking head and beat him into the ground. I want to steal off. his hair. Um, but before we get any further, let's hear a word from our sponsors. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. There are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps. There's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. BetterHelp is an online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat-only therapy sessions, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a licensed therapist in under 48 hours. I love my therapist, and I think everybody needs one, and I talk to her all the time. At this point, she's like a close friend of mine, and I don't know what I'd do without her, and I recommend a therapist highly. Even with having that therapist, sometimes I find myself putting it to the side and wondering, why do I feel so foggy-headed, and why am I not enjoying my day-to-day -day the way I usually do? And then I realize it's because I have to talk it out. Talking it out is so important so that you can feel good about the things you're doing, girl. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash intercom. That's betterhelp.com slash intercom. 
Y'all need to stop playing because it's pissing me off. <laughs> I didn't know if you knew about the Alex. He was he seemed really desperate. He kept looking at me and he was like, he's like, ask, ask. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, Kai can't get their attention. That's crazy. Yeah, because we don't pay attention to Kai. And now you're making us do it. And it's like a lot. Um, but you were talking about hygiene and yeah. I did write something down. I wrote a thought down that I had and I was like, okay, of all the things that I choose not to spend money on, like I am very, a very frugal person. I do not spend my money. I literally hoard my wealth. Um, one thing that I spend or two things that I spend money on is stuff that smells good. So like diffusers, yeah. um, candles, and also really expensive hygiene products, like shit that like. I literally don't need to be buying because it's way out of my budget. Literally that Kanye tweet that's like, I spend $3,000 on candles a month or $300,000 on candles a month. Can someone please like teach me how to Not budget better? That. Literally. I do that with like shampoo, conditioner, toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, like all those hygiene products. And yes, I do wash my body and I wash my hair and I brush my teeth. Do you teeth. wash your hair a lot? I was thinking that today no. at the gym. No? I wash my hair after the gym, but I don't that, wash it. I washed all my the time. hair at the gym and I was like, how does Drew use this shampoo and conditioner? Because it was probably some of the worst like hair products I've used in a long time. I, I just use a shampoo. I don't use a conditioner. I used a conditioner twice and I was like, dude, this it's, shit it's is like really weird. bad. It's, it's not like good. super liquidy. And I also thought about it and I was like, if I was a demon, I would put Nair. Or LSD or come inside of the public um, shampoo, conditioner, and body washes and ruin people's lives. But I'm not a freak. But I did have that thought. I was like, there is a freak that has thought about doing that before and probably has. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there's somebody who has a kink for, like, the idea of that and, mm -hmm. like, has done it. Which you're going to hell and you're going to burn for all of eternity and there's no coming back from that. Yeah. But, like... Let's be clear. My my ears like don't smell in the way that if you like get oh, up in my neck, if you get the odor. privilege, there's an if you odor get the privilege radiating. of sucking on my neck, you're not gonna smell the fart box juices no, in my an ear. Odor radiating. But when I like touch my ears, when I have all my earrings in and I give it a whiff, it do be smelling like undertow. Oh, um, and that's my admission. Not oh. the not the main hole, just my tiny holes. Oh, but I mean, when I'm around you in your presence, sometimes I do get a whiff of like this metallic. Oh, that actually foot. might be your stinky fucking hair, like getting in your face. <laughs> my unwashed hair. <laughs> no, dude. Oh, my God. We ate that ice cream from McDonald's last night. And I was so exhausted. And I was like, dude, I, I need to go to bed. I need to go to bed. So I just brushed my teeth and that was it. And when I was laying in bed, I was like just getting this smell. And I was like, what is that smell? And I <laughs> had ice cream in my mustache. <laughs> and you know what I did? I didn't wake up and go and wash my mustache. I just went to bed. No, that kind of stuff freaks me out. Last night, I really had to pee, and but I fell asleep holding Azul very cutely, and oh. I didn't want to get up. But then Be I fell asleep for like 10 minutes, and I woke up because I was like, I'm going to piss everywhere. Be That's why I need diapers. I just want to start sleeping in diapers so I could piss myself. Yeah. For the first time in my entire life, in my entire life, I had to wake up two times to go pee in the middle of the night. And it wasn't last night. It was the night before the barbecue. Um, and I have literally no idea why that happened because i normally just wake up in the morning and just like literally like like piss the most piss i've ever yeah. evacuated from my body <laughs> I ever. like a little fire hydrant. girl you've heard my morning piss like yeah. that shit is loud and thick like girthy piss M my morning piss is viscous mm. it's like a lemonade syrup yeah it's like caramel <laughs> yeah. um but fuck what was i gonna say oh when I sleep with other people, that's, I feel like I, I'm more prone to waking up in the middle of the night and going pee. And then when I sleep alone, I never wake up to go it's pee. It's that anxiety about pissing yourself with other people in your bed. Like, But I think I've said before, I have pissed myself a little bit when I was in bed next to someone before. Oh, yeah. Like, I, like, literally, I and it wasn't even a laugh or anything. I, I just woke up in the middle of the night, and I was like, oh, my God, I literally pissed myself a little Wait, bit. Wait, isn't that hilarious how, like, there's these little embarrassing things that, like, every human does that, like all of us like to ignore that we we act like we all don't do them but we all do them in private like everybody has pissed their pants like in, or pissed the bed like but no one talks about it and there's like these little things that like people everyone does but no one talks about and there's another one that popped in my head the other day that i was like oh like everyone does that but we all don't talk about i am it. saying this with the utmost privilege because i genuinely do think it's like a blessing in my life but so many times i have micro pissed myself from laughing so hard but like i always like say i'm like dude i'm literally like pissing myself i need to get up and go like when i'm at a table with my friends john mulaney 
had a really, I think I literally said exactly this, but I was listening to a podcast. He was like, if you don't stop, I'm going to smack the fuck out I'm of you. I'm calling all the last straight men in 2022. Should I do it? Should I do it too? Because like, I don't know if a gay person doing it, like if they'll like, here. oh, okay. Now we have to take a break. It's going to be like a 30 minute thing. I mean, like, don't put yourself in a position to like have the truth told to you. Literally, look at your shirt. Like, how are you going to do that with that shirt on? <laughs> your head is kind of cut out. I know, the entire episode, but you, you just don't take me into account. Well, it's, because you were fucking sleeping. I was passed away. And you know what's crazy is I sleep fully clothed now. Like, I'm I'm back on my bullshit. I, like, go to bed, like, in a full outfit, and then I rise, and I'm good. And I sleep with the lights on. I will fall asleep with the lights I on every I hate it. Night. It drives me crazy, because then I'll go in to turn it off, and he's like, no... I'm like, why don't you let me turn them off, you fucking freak? Um, I, like I am the lights on. on the opposite tip. I stopped sleeping naked because one time my friend sent me this TikTok. The earthquake TikTok. is going to come. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Bitch, if the, if the earth is shattering, like, I don't give a fuck that I'm naked, bitch. I'm like, who's who's going to look at me? Honestly. No, no, because, like, if, if the earthquake comes and you're fully naked and you have to, like, run outside and you're, like, ass naked and you have to, like, cover up, like, or, like, the house collapses on top of you and, like, they're digging through the rubble and you're already embarrassed uh, no, to be and inside the rubble. No, but... And then they find you in your ass naked. They're gonna like, be like, oh my god, so this girl is so hot. So I'll give, like, the workers a little boner. Oh, which is, which yeah. is sweet. Like, I'm, like, give them something I'm, like, they need that. With. The rescue team needs a little alleviation from, like, the terror that is the apocalypse to my tits so yeah. they could get a little pudge going. What? Um, but... What the fuck was I saying, motherfucker? Earthquake. Oh, I stopped sleeping naked because um, someone sent me a TikTok that was like, oh, when you fart in your sleep when you're naked, you just be living little poop particles in your fucking sheets. And then you cover your fucking bed in poop particles. I, and then it was like a joke, but I took it really serious because, you know, like me, I'm a freak. And I'm like, oh, my God, I can't, no, get, my, that's real, I can't get my though. clean bed dirty but i'd be fucking on my bed like what like poop particles like bitch there's sweat and squirt all over that thing like unless i wash it like it's whatever it's bound to get dirty yeah um (laughs) we had that conversation the other day like i'm okay with people having sex in my bed because like a little sex oh yeah we we were talking about would you rather someone like pee in your bed no it wasn't pee it was pee in your bed or or have sex in your bed and i was like have sex in my bed yeah i'd rather i'd rather you get a little cum on my sheets than piss in my mattress yeah like because if you come on my sheets like i can wash it if you squirt on my sheets it's like unless you like got and the it fucking also tank smells full. fucking good and like you get to just leave it in there and lay in it and it gets a little crispy so when i'm falling asleep and i like can't fall asleep i can start like picking at it with my nails oh yeah so i have something to play with yeah while I fall like peeling it off like elmer's glue like off your skin yeah yeah you do that um, with your bed sheets but i'm back to sleeping naked because Shiny then i saw another stuff. tiktok that it was a gynecologist talking about how important it is to let your fucking cootie rama breathe and i was like dude yeah that's literally why i used to sleep naked all the time is because my cootie needs to breathe so i'm back on that tip and then i used to like i go on and off because someone tells me something that gives me like intense anxiety and then i can't not think about it because i used to originally sleep naked but then my mom was like what if someone breaks in or like a fire happens you have to run out of the house and you're naked but now i'm at the point where i'm like bitch i'll throw on my skims robe robe and i'll like keep it pushing like what like i like like zoned out because i was looking at you and i was like oh i'm doing really good with eye contact right now and then i thought about (laughs) my fucking personal trainer literally yesterday was like you're really fucking bad at looking me in your eye, in the eyes, but your friend is really good at it. And I was like, oh my fucking God, that's so humiliating. He was like, it just feels like, like I, I like study like body language and like when people don't look me in the eyes, it means that like you don't respect like the person that's talking to you. And I was like, I swear to God, it's not that. I just like oh suck God. at eye contact. That's, I don't think he's interpreting I can't that. make eye contact with people I really want to have sex with. <laughs> that's why you have trouble looking at me. That is not the case. That's the only way I know I can have sex with someone is if I can make if you intense can, like, eye, eye contact with them. No, if, if it's somebody I'm attracted to that like makes me nervous so I don't look at them. But I, I I don't think that I'm like that good at eye contact, but maybe I am. I think I am like kind of really good at it. because we, we, so, we were speaking to someone new at, um, at that barbecue and I was like staring her in the eyes while I was talking to her. And I had to like tell myself to not stare so deeply in her eyes. But sometimes, like, my eye contact isn't true eye contact. It's literally me looking disassociating through, and, like, yeah. looking, looking through, through you. Through but you. my eyes just so happen to be landing on your I face. I feel like you're really good at making it. Like, I noticed pretty soon into knowing you that you're very good at making everyone in the room feel like you're talking to them. 
which not many people do, honestly. It's Thank usually you. like people I think will it, talk to what about one me? person. I don't think we've ever made eye contact. <laughs> I think it's literally because I'm insecure about the idea of somebody feeling left out. Like I, yeah. I hate when I'm in a conversation with people and like the quiet person feels left out because I don't know. That makes me really sad. You're, it's like, I don't just like a nice a, girl. It's you're like, a I couldn't, you know, in high school when there were those fucking freak ass motherfuckers who like wouldn't eat, but would sit with you while you and your friends are eating. And like, you would offer them something to eat. And they're like, no, I'm like actually not hungry. I'm like, bitch. Well, shit. Damn. <laughs> Damn. 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 No, you're really good at it. I feel like nobody does that, honestly. Damn. Especially in LA, I feel like people Thanks. will zone in on like one person or two people max, but Thank it's you. very rare to have someone like include everyone proactively in a conversation. Yeah, y'all heard it here. Y'all heard it here first. I mean, look, you have 200,000 people on the hook. I'm literally like, never mind. My diva cup is like pressing up against my colon right now. Does it kind of feel good? No, it like hurts. <laughs> Do you need me to get in there? Yeah, I need you to get in there. And okay. Around. Well, I was thinking Joe Biden scares me the same way <laughs> Michael Jackson scares me. Do you know, does that make sense? Joe Biden, I'm not kidding, is like not real. Like, and I like that's that's my tidbit. Like, I'm not kidding. Has anyone ever actually seen Joe Biden in person? Olivia Rodrigo. We got to talk to her. That was not real. <laughs> that was a psychological was operation. Out. I don't think anybody watching this has seen Joe Biden in person. There's no way. Yeah, well, Joe what? Biden's yeah, because like, you bitches are seeing the president. He's like in a live Madame Tussauds yes. statue. <laughs> he's full of sawdust okay, and millworms. We need to talk about it. They turned those bitches out quick now. How they got Bad Bunny, Billie Eilish, and Anita all in the same month. It used to take them like eight years <laughs> yeah, to make those things. John Travolta got his after 25 years. Yeah, now they turn them out like fucking like pancakes. John like, Travolta they have turned into like his 3D printer them or something. <laughs> Literally, you, you saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, John Travolta is his wax figure. I make them so fast now. Oh, also, um, I need to get a grip because, like, I am literally so embarrassed. I find everything so fucking embarrassing. Like, uh, Sky Ferreira was not joking when she said everything, everything is, is embarrassing. embarrassing. Like, yeah. no, it, that is so embarrassing. Everything is embarrassing. I like, I don't. so hard to explain that to my personal trainer after he called me a freak for not being eye contact. I was like, no, like, you don't understand, like, Working out is humiliating. I can't do it. No, that's what I was trying to say to the trainer I was working with that one time. I was like, this is embarrassing. I'm like, it is so humiliating that humans have gotten to the point that we are (laughs) replicating labor so that we can like be in shape because we don't have to like Like exert as much physical labor. Rolling rocks around. We should be like picking up bricks and stacking them. And like carrying three hundred. And now but no, now I'm in the gym like with a three pound weight, like huffing and puffing because I'm on my back and I'm like, ugh. Oh, uh, like li- that is so embarrassing. Well, your only job as a woman is then, to carry your child. Yeah, true. And then I like push well, myself too hard the at the gym because I'm like trying to prove a point. And it's like, who's watching? Now I'm embarrassing myself because I'm trying so hard. Literally, like that trainer put like a 40 pound like weight on my hips. And I was sitting there doing weight thrusts with like, it was like the bar was 40 and each thing was five. So I was doing it with like a 50 pound thing. And like, it was literally excruciating. And I still went through and did it because I was too embarrassed to say like, that, stop. And I hurt my- That workout in particular is extremely embarrassing. Yeah. And it, yeah. It, it, it You're is, humping the no, air. No, I know that, that when I was doing Pilates today, it was like pulsing like my hips up. And I'm like, I'm pulsing. literally fucking someone oh, right now. Like I'm literally pulsing. like, I am practicing my stamina so I can like thrust <laughs> into Drew later. It's easy. Yeah. It's easy. But yeah, that uh, there's like a machine that replicates that movement where there's a belt around you. And like the third the third one I did that I had to do that. bounce on this lap girl he wants to be in this episode so I know. bad you're I not know. getting it you're come not here, getting an here. episode come again. here baby no, they'll never see my face come to daddy baby come on come on Wait, baby can you hear the parts hey hey you <laughs> oh my god oh, oh, oh my god, god. Wait, actually let me do it once let me do it once. Oh, yeah okay, you're yeah. really good at it oh oh, wait, oh. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god! No, it's low. Why do you always have oh to do Oh my god! <laughs> Why do you always do that? Oh! It like helps. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, wait, it's on. Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh my god! No, I oh can't. my god! Oh! <laughs> If you, touch me, if you touch me again, I'm gonna no figure that butt, there. girl. No I just stopped talking there. like that because at the gym, Drew got on the stairmaster and his ass was right to my face. And out loud, I go, "I'm gonna finger that butt." <laughs> and there was like this 68 year old man sweating his ass off on a Soul Cycle bicycle that looked over and broke neck. What are you doing? I was trying to get photos of just Oh my God! No. I, when I was looking over at you, Drew, when you were working oh, out that God. day, I like wanted to like I was like trying to take pictures and stuff, but your trainer was there and we had met you. Yet, and I was like, he's gonna think I'm weird. Dude, the yeah. guy I've had a session with, I still haven't made eye contact with, and I want so badly to just break the tension. E uh, the, the gym gives you a fucking free like training session with a trainer and i did it and i just like did it because i got a free session but i don't want a trainer like i just want to do classes and my little workout and like have fun and be a girl um but i just basically ghosted my trainer and now it's like this insanely awkward thing of like not making eye contact with this human and i want so badly to just be like hey by the way just to make it clear like i just didn't want to do I, I don't want to do It's also uncomfortable for me because he knows we're like friends and so I still haven't made eye contact I don't Even when I was yet. talking to your personal trainer because they know each other, I was like, oh, this is so awkward. I'm yeah, he asks me every fucking time. Really? Literally every time he's like, does Inya like want to work with him? Who is just her trainer? Like all this shit. And I'm like, no, she doesn't want a trainer. It's okay. I don't want to twerk it out with anybody. I want to twerk it out with myself. Literally. Ew, that like, does that make you laugh? No, no Josiah is like Josiah. sticking the gun in his ass. Josie needs attention like so bad that it's like irrational. Like get a grip and get a therapist check. It's like we're working. Right I now. know. Josiah you know, says and she's not working hard enough. Josiah says that he has a therapist. This is something I wrote when I was. I wrote this at two fifty two a.m. I think I was driving. I don't know where I was driving at 2.52 a.m. Sleep driving. What? But it actually pisses me off because it is so accessible to make things now that anybody can make a song. I, this was like voice to text. So I don't think it picked me up. It actually pisses me off. But then I get to thinking and I'm like, damn, I'm so full of myself because I think I know what good music is and what's not. And then I come back to reality and I realize that's the truth. And half the bitches on the radio shouldn't be there because I listen to the radio and it scares me. Um, wow. Oh, I'll play the song that I heard on the radio. Oh, it was actually fucking crazy. <laughs> this is the song that made me have such a visceral... It was the crazy... It's the craziest <laughs> song I've ever heard in my Listen, life. Legitimately. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like an AI made that. No, dude. Yes. That's what it feels like. It literally feels like now like it, it's just like everybody who i hear on the radio what was also freaking me out was that was number 27 on the top 30 voted in by listeners to that station and 29 was massive by drake and i'm, I'm like you mean to tell me that in the city of los angeles people voted that song up more than a drake song and that was freaking me out whenever because i, was I like, see that though i'm like Who's listening to the radio at this point? Whoever's voting for like radio stuff probably has way more weight than they did in like the nineties, right? It's like for every one person that votes, two hundred thousand voted literally in the nineties, and now it's like fifty eight people vote. There's like dude, I don't know. It just scares me because I'm like, dude, because there is so much music, and like I will like look up these people, and they have like six hundred k monthly listeners, and I'm like who yeah, are yeah. these people but then i get to thinking and i'm like there's so many people and it's like the classic conversation that we were having one time it's like about clothing consumption and style where i'm like i find this one specific kind of style of clothing or like fashion or like music or movie unbearable and obnoxious but really i am the lesser because that is like what is like mainly consumed by the general public and in reality i'm the freak and i'm full of myself and i'm crazy yeah. and this thing to most humans sounds good but then that freaks me out too because why did humans decide to like start banging on stuff and like making noise it's so animalistic because vibrations control everything everything vibrations do be controlling me yes, yes. <laughs> vibration controller <laughs> by drake 
One of my wing bots died, so I've been using the one I don't like that much because I'm too, like, I just, like, in the daytime, I don't think to go charge it. And then I pick it up and it does the really sad, like, one, like, and then it, like, dies. My toothbrush does that. I fingered myself with my toothbrush. <laughs> oh. Um, I'm going to put your toothbrush I, up your butt. I've been working on Emergency Intercom merch. I just wanted to tell you guys before it's out. Wait, you're making merch? Mm-hmm. We already did merch. Yeah, I'm making, like, another item. What um, the fuck? If, if you are interested. Is it a vibrator? In it, no, it's a flashlight for, like, Drew's mouth. Oh. Of my mouth. Yeah. How did you get Wait. the fucking mold? Yeah, what? I, like, did this thing where I, like, scanned your face while you were sleeping and did a 3D model What the it. fuck? That's no. actually impressive, you know? Okay, thank I can, you. Like, yeah. I thought you guys would you should go and kill yourself. And you should go and kill yourself now. Can I get a pint of Jose Cuervo? <laughs> <laughs> and you should go and kill yourself now. Can I get a pint of Jose Cuervo? Was she talking to a worker when she was saying that? The Jose Cuervo? Yeah. Yeah. Where was that? Like a Ralph's? Mm, probably like a liquor store. Also, something. the way you sent me that and like I didn't watch it and then... Some someone on my timeline was like, "This is Drew Phillips in her dialogue," oh, and know. then I went to the video. I was like, "This is literally the video you sent me earlier." Yeah. Um. And with that being said, here is a word from our sponsor. Sponsor. Yes. Did we have two sponsors this episode? I don't know. We just do it just in case. Um, there is big talk oh, wait, about no, how you. Holy fucking shit. This is actually crazy. What? There's this new disease going around called the coronavirus. <laughs> that is, it's spread through Did, Actually, breathing. I was thinking about that the it's other spread day. spread through breathing. I was thinking about that the other day. Remember when we first found out about it and you, me, and Josh sat in this kitchen because uh, Josh's parents work in the medical field. So yeah. we like got like there a, were like rumors that it, the world was going to shut down and we were going to be under martial law. And but, it wasn't like a like a outspoken thing yet. So we mm, were like, there's no way it was that's like a medical thing. industry. people. Yeah. So we were like, what? Like, that sounds crazy. And then we were like, dude, that's so annoying. Two weeks like where we have to sit still. That's so fucking annoying. Like, and I was just thinking about that. Damn, like everybody had that reaction where they were like, what? Two weeks? Like, that's like insane. And it was literally lit in the beginning. It was like, fuck, like I'm going to learn how to play chess I'm and go paint. On- I know I'm gonna go on bike rides and like talk to my therapist more often. And, and like, then the world erupted. And now it's like almost back to normal. I think I feel like it's like back to normal for the most part. But now we're on this the, is the new now. Normal. Now we're on the cusp of something else. And now I'm like, oh my god, is this it? Like, is am I just gonna spend the rest of my life being like absolutely freaked out and like anxiety driven? Well, by I the can idea get the vaccine. Something? Wait, but I thought you were straight. Uh, I work in the sex industry as a videographer on sex sets. Oh. You don't partake, though. You're, like, straight. Yeah. Okay. I believe you, I guess. I had a dream where you died. And I saved it. I was going to record it yesterday, but it was Did you forget it? No, I wrote it all down. Okay, let's hear it. Okay. Um, And it was one of those moments where, like, I woke up and I almost started crying. It was really gnarly. I, like, my voice was shaking when I was doing the voice. I was so fucking sad. (laughs) Um, But we were at a concert. Um, A a bunch of shit happened previous, but it's, like, not relevant to the dream because it was literally just, like, weird dream shit. And we were at this concert for the gorillas. Um and we were with some billionaire that like had like an airplane strip attached to the venue it's like giving like red rocks but there were like two levels so there was like a lower level and then a mezzanine level that was really really high up and he was like we can't go down there like it's like dangerous and shit so he was like i just bought out the whole mezzanine so we were sitting in the mezzanine and i forget what song came on it was like rhinestone eyes or like plastic beach or something came on and you were like let's go to the front of the mezzanine and like we all like ran to the very front um bar and it's like 150 foot drop and we were like turning up and having literally the most fun ever like it i remember thinking like in the dream i was like this is like the most fun i've ever had and i like physically i like felt euphoric from yeah. like jumping around in this uh, music uh, at this uh gorillas concert and next thing you know, I like look over and you're like, like partying and you trip and fall over the barricade at the concert and fall 150 feet and you're screaming the entire way down. And I like watch you and I watch you hit the ground and I fucking 
screech and everybody's like trying to be like it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay and i'm like freaking the fuck out and i'm like it's not gonna be fucking okay and then i woke up and like it was like legitimately the gnarliest thing i've ever witnessed and you know what it is is i think it's literally when i saw that person fall over the barricade at the rangers game the texas rangers game it oh, literally, no, literally looked that. exactly like that like it was identical to me like watching that dad fall it was fucking crazy gnarly boots bloody gross. gnarly boots well the good news is that wouldn't happen because it would be so fucking embarrassing because like i was probably drunk in the dream and like the idea of me like falling drunk to my death is like i wouldn't do that yeah so that's the good news is just like, know that i dream about you dying too that's good that's good i had a sex dream with you and it was awful did you really last night yeah you it was, did it why was, would you keep that from me oh because i just thought about it when you said it because then <sighs> i woke up it was really weird and i like what can't, you literally are so obsessed with me that you dream ex- about no, me it, sexually no it was like alien like wow. and really nasty like it was really like I, it, in the dream <laughs> that's how it is in it, real it, life yeah in the dream we like had to have sex for some reason like it was like this thing of like we like had to do it and both of us really didn't want to and like we were trying so hard to initiate it with each other and it was like just so like dude we were like dude this is literally like an awful task at hand like we were like this is just so like i feel like we could figure this it is out. so too much like it was like what the fuck Okay, the big one is literally coming. I know. Wait, I'm, tell me why we're due for another earthquake. Stop, yeah. because I've been thinking about it because of like the world like falling apart and like everything and climate change. I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna happen. Yeah. But hopefully it happens when we're not here. Guys watching the and next also Azul month. will survive and like it'll be fine. In the and next all, month all it'll happen. Will it'll happen. The big one's coming in the next month. Drew just like saying that kind of stuff so that y'all can clip this and be like, oh my god. That That's like wait, I said someone was gonna pass away at that barbecue, and I was like, and then when it happens. Yeah, oh, you oh guys mentioned monkeypox in the flea episode, apparently. No, we did. Did we really? Apparently. <gasps> no, we did not. Wow. <laughs> I saw I saw a comment that was like, not true predicting monkeypox or something. Something like wow, that. Wow, I literally think I remember that. Wow, it's crazy how I'm like. That's not a good genius. thing that's happening. No, it's not a good thing, but it's a good thing for me because um, I can predict Drew, the future. I lied. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking hit you. I'm gonna fucking hit you. Please don't hit me. You embarrassed him. You oh, stop! No, Drew, one stop! More, one more, one stop. more. Stop! No, actually, <laughs> sit down. Wait. Please don't tell anybody that happened. Like okay. you tried. Okay. We'll give you eleven percent. Because if you care about us, you won't tell anybody. I and care about you. No, thank you. I'll cut. I'll cut all that out too. No, leave it in. No, you you want to leave that in? Leave it in. Okay. What about our sex? I don't remember. What? That didn't happen. We just actually had sex. Okay, Drew, I wasn't joking. Somebody actually did say that about the comments. I know, because I really did talk (laughs) about it. And I remember talking about it. I already did it. Yeah, why are you guys doing that? (laughs) Calling the last straight men. (laughs) Is that like a TikTok? Yeah, it's like a dude that did it being serious. <laughs> Ow, those fucking claps hurt so bad. <laughs> like, look. Because you have little fragile baby hands. Okay, we're back. I have to poop. We're back. Okay, so I have to talk about um, the barbecue and an interaction with someone that I had there. Um, I think it's, it's important to the story to know who it was that I was talking to. Um, but I also don't want to say their name, but I'm also like, I, I literally don't give a shit. Um, but okay, so I was talking to <laughs> Troy Savon. Okay, name um, dropping. I yeah, know. literally. Uh, I was I was talking to Troy Savon because we're like best friends. Literally the, the most gorgeous man I've ever seen mm-hmm. in my entire life. Gorgeous on um, a grande. But I was talking, yes, I was talking to Troy Savon. I talked to like famous musicians and artists all the time. Like my life is fucking crazy. Like it was very, but it's it's important to the story because um, literally all I talked to, talked, talked to him about was, I'm not joking, like constipation, allergic reactions, like, um, like, uh, like skin diseases and like <laughs> eczema. And it was like the worst conversation I've ever had with any human being <laughs> on planet earth. And like, Literally, I just like 
after I got home and like laid in bed and thought about that night, I was like, damn, that was fun. And then I thought about like our conversation and I literally physically like repulsed. I was like, dude, like why would I ever talk what to anybody about that? What makes it better is he thought uh, Jer and Josiah was dating. It was like, how long have you, are you guys seeing each other? Yeah, he was like, are you guys seeing each other? And me and Josiah like scream. Oh. <laughs> Bring back manly men like damn, bitch. <laughs> damn. Damn. I just literally today has just not been my day. Like nothing's landing. None of my conversations are sticking. Like it's just. What? You're doing that. a good job. Let's put this on what? the screen. Kai. What is that? Y'all laying next to each other? Where is that from? Miami. Oh. We'll insert this picture and you tell us if it's true or not. Wait, what does it say? They genuinely would be so cute together. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we would. I no. think I think we would. We're both tops. You guys are too... Okay. Girl. You, I know. You're not a top. Like, me me when yes. I'm just talking to talk. Me when, I, me when I'm literally a liar. <laughs> yeah, hey, my like name's what? Kai and I'm a top. I are you lying for fun right yes, now? Yes, I'm a liar. Okay, that's what I thought you were doing. Damn. Uh, Hi, my name is Kai and I have sex. <laughs> Bitch, don't lie. I, okay, you caught me. I, I told you I'm not a good liar. Like, I'm not a good liar. Um, me playing this oh. podcast in my therapy. <laughs> <laughs> these are my two bullies who also <laughs> employ me. <laughs> so these are my bullies. I'm supposed to talk to my therapist, but, like, I'm just too busy having fun and doing other stuff to do that. But I'm, like, actually actively going more and more insane. Well, shit. Well, we've arrived at this point. Before, what do you think? Of, what do you think of subtitles? Before you said the stupid COVID thing. <laughs> that was crazy. You like subtitles or no? I feel Before like we're the generation. Before you said the stupid ass COVID thing, I was gonna say like a genuine thought, and it's so far gone now. You think? I think we're the generation that brings back subtitles. I can't watch anything with subtitles when I'm high. Like my brain cannot like move that fast. So I have me and Lucas and Josh have watched, um, fifteen minutes of a show, and no, it was it was very recently, and we were all sober, and we watched like, like five or six minutes of a show without realizing like it was speaking Spanish and we were like <laughs> and it was it was a Japanese show and we were like wait why does this Japanese sound like Spanish right now and we had American <laughs> subtitles on what fucking show is that it's probably because my mom yeah it was it was uh your Netflix what show was that my mom only I think I've said this also before but my mom only speaks Spanish so every time we log into my Netflix show start in Spanish so we watch like two minutes Damn of it me. and then when they first when they first start <laughs> talking we're like huh 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 um, huh uh I um entered the spelling bee in fourth grade and you did bad oh it was bad it was so Girl, bad if you entered it now at a fourth grade the, level i still think it would be bad <laughs> we had two test rounds or we had one test round and then a serious round and my test word was salami um failed it but i was like okay i get another chance i like will pass the next round and then we did it and i was like literally the fourth person eliminated because i was the fourth person that went um <laughs> and i had to spell sombrero um and I genuinely don't know if I know how to spell it today. It's S O M B R E R O. Mm -hmm. Is that how you spell it? Yeah. And then salami is S A L A M I. Yeah. Okay. So I can spell it at a fourth grade level. <laughs> um, no, but if you, if Kai like picked four words out for me to spell, random ass words, I wouldn't be able to spell them straight I'm up. Trying to think any of them. One. Could you spell accessibility? No. A. No, it's just my brain. My brain goes too fast. A C C E S S A B I L I T Y. Uh, yeah. Again, do it one more time. I can't. I did it too fast. You said two S's, and I don't know if there's two S's. A C C E S S A B I L I T Y. No, that's wrong. Fuck off. Okay. How do you spell it? 
A C C E S S I B L I T Y. I think you said A before. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> I really thought I got I it. I know. I, I, like, I kind of thought you got it too, but then I was like, something after the Access- SS. Accessibility. Accessibility. Okay. I guess it also is like a bit difficult to spell when you pronounce things like differently than the way they were <laughs> written in 1961. When did the word accessibility drop? <laughs> Let's look that up. I'm going to assume like 1863. I'm really stuck on the 60s. When did the word accessibility come out? (gasps) The word homosexual, like it popped up like 1640. Damn, I said 1863. I have absolutely no gauge of time. Like literally at all. Because... Look at Even that. Even now, if you were born in like 2004. Look what comes up when I look up. When did the word. <laughs> Have you looked that up before? 1868. No. Hella late. I would say that's early. What? There's been gay people before that. They just didn't know. They couldn't put their finger on it. In it. Fuck. No, no one cared. <laughs> <laughs> they started caring in 1860. No one cared before. That's how I feel about myself. Like, no one cared about me until I was, like, super popular and important. Why'd you shake your head yes, Kai? I was agreeing with you. That's not something to agree with. You're I supposed to say just, no, people cared about you before that. Like I thought women, cared for. you're supposed to, like, listen to women. and then. Oh, my God. He is listening and learning. Yes. Not me listening and learning. Still can't spell. <laughs> Are you trying to spell something else? Uh, n- No. So we are literally living in the last good generation. We have a habitable earth. We have cars that we get to drive. Um, What else do I have written down? I have a bunch of things. Um, We have like decent climate. We have monarch butterflies Um, and everything else. And like 10, 15 years, it's going to be done. No, that's what I meant. I've been genuinely saying to people, I'm like, damn, I like finally came around to being like, you know what? I would love to have kids, but now I'm like, I won't be able to have kids. Like, I just won't be able to have kids. What if this is just a repeat of the 70s? Because like literally they thought the world was ending in the 70s too. And people chose to not have children in the 70s because they're like, the world is going to end. To be fair though. And now it's 70 years. It like was ending. Like, the, it, there is such a small statistical probability of the fact that we made it to this point. Have you ever looked up the nuclear bomb, like, accidents? No. There's, like, recorded events where they were transporting a nuke across the United States, and it just fell out of the plane, <laughs> and it just didn't go off. Oh, my God. And that there's, like, 30 things that happened like that. Like, the Cold War was about to happen. It was literally, like, a 30-minute thing that was called off to like shoot nukes off so i think they were like totally valid well we're not so do you you think that like it's valid to feel like it's like kind of a not gonna happen situation or do you think it's valid to feel it i feel like the chances of the world ending are lower now than in the 70s for sure i hope so but yeah, the world's not like. Here. How do I have Apple Pay, but y'all can't fix global warm? That's warming. true. It's because Riddle you that. have Apple Pay. <laughs> yeah, global warming is a thing. No, no, like I'm so dead serious. Why can I do PayPal checkout on any website in the world, but y'all can't fix the temperature of the globe? Because every time you buy a Mew Mew jacket, it has to travel six thousand miles via jet and pump. 30,000 tons of carbon monoxide in, or carbon dioxide into our atmosphere, which is melting holes. If you need the best skincare in the world, go to Australia. They have a hole in the ozone layer above their country, so they all are constantly baking No, we in fixed the sun. it. No, it's still bad over there. <laughs> it is still bad. You yeah, get people. But we fixed it. Isn't it like 50% You chance? know what's crazy is that that was like one of the only times in the world where everybody was like, you know what? Like, we got to do something about this fucking hole in the ozone layer because all of our oxygen is literally leaving the earth. We're not going to be able to be here for 50 more years if we don't. And then they passed like some fucking law that like literally just stopped the production of this one chem that like was actively destroying our ozone. And then it healed itself 
But like, why can't we just rally and do that? Why yeah, can't I, we just heard, stop climate change? Yeah, I heard that you would, if you like solely because you consume so much of it, if you just stopped using poppers, like it would, <laughs> everything would be good. Wow, this is the second time you've done this, this I know. episode. Do you think people are going to think I'm like homophobic or something? For sure. Okay, 100%. Good. I'm just trying to like make sure. I'm making what? sure that's. <laughs> what? You bitch. Oh, did you go get proof that I was right? No, these are yours that you left in my room. No, I had a bigger one. Those it, are yours it, that you oh, left in my no, room. I, riddle me this. I bought a big version and I gave riddle it to Drew. Riddle me this. Die. You're gonna die. Oh. Those actually aren't mine. I yeah, don't no, know where they came from. Yeah, no, but remember I bought the big one and I gave it to you? Did someone take it no, from you? No, you gave me this one. No. Because you were like, it was, hide it this. It was the flat. Oh, oh, wait, maybe this is mine. Yes, because I, I swear, I like, I, no, I, I you never gave one. me a big one. I swear on my life. Oh, no, now it's gonna smell like that in here. What? I use that to clean my fingernails. Yeah, this is nail polish remover that I use a lot. Oh, I smell it. I smell the poppers. You want a more concentrated sniff. Mm. Whoa. Mm. But yeah, I heard that if you stop... Oh, and unregulated porn. What? Soon the porn will be uh, regulated. That's why we're the last good generation. We're literally still in the wild, wild west with the internet. And soon it's all going to be regulated. Just wait. We're all going to be... We're all going to look back in 20 years and be like, we were fucking degenerate, delinquent scum. I think like (laughs) that about myself like two years ago. (laughs) You need to not eat whatever chicken that was before the podcast. What? I literally was like, <laughs> I feel like so normal. Normally, I feel like fucking shit. Can I please no, you're just have talking some how the of world's that? Gonna end. Of my balls? No. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you're giving me a little peek show through can your you shorts, and see? I can see your bulge. No, I can't. Can I see? <laughs> can I see? Kai, I'm not gonna uh, clean your feet. <laughs> Like, I no, don't want to you know see your feet, Kai. Is, I don't think I saw anybody having anything to say about me saying my feet getting warm literally makes me horny. Like, no one had anything to say about that. I didn't see a single comment about that. And it was just grazed over, which is good. Because that means that we have, like, older people watching us now who are, like, around our age. So you understand. Because I can't stand when I see, like, a person talk about, like, oh, my God, they say they want to, like, suck my toes. That's so weird. I'm like, there's nothing weird about that. Just I am. Oh my God! Just airing out your foot Josiah fetish. Josiah is working. I don't on have his... a foot fetish. I find every part of the body of someone I'm attracted to awesome. Josiah is working on his laptop with like his pants down, <laughs> so his ass is like hanging out. Well, he just he just put it away. <laughs> Pull that thing out. Pull that, Pull thing that dick out. out. Pull, Pull that, that dick out. out. Pull that dick out. What? Pull that dick out. Pull no. that dick out. Pull that dick out. Pull that dick out. Oh, he's doing it. Pull that dick out. I will never. Oh my God! I will never ever be here again. (laughs) I will never ever put up with this again. Being all the time sexualized by all of you. That's literally me. (laughs) Although the comments like talk about it so much, they're like, "Damn, Drew like has a Drew silently handles all of his traumas, and it's from you two. Y'all are traumatizing." What? Fucking wish you bitch. Mm -mm. See? No, we don't. Yeah, we're so fucking nice to you. There's a nail polish, remember? <laughs> Said they're on the bottom. Yeah, I know. Why'd you take it? Because I was going to throw it away. But... Yeah, don't throw it away. Never. <laughs> oh, is Drew putting on a show? Like, he's like, okay. Yeah, he's here. pretending like we're mean to what him. What do you have to say? Go for yeah. it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, chill out. Ew! Josiah! <laughs> <laughs> Josiah's bare fucking hairy ass cheeks are out. <laughs> Sorry, my... Pants are riding a little low too. <laughs> Drew, Dude, Drew trying we've to known hold each it together. other for like too long because now we're getting to the point where we think like showing our butt cracks to each other our is funny. Like are we hilarious. literally are like. Well, the boys do that. We've been doing that for years. Yeah. I'll like open the door and pull down my pants and <laughs> run up the stairs. He literally did that to me yesterday when I came. Like, that's uh, when inside. you came. Yeah. <laughs> did you just get here yesterday? Never. No. Um, He's been here forever. Whenever I was. I don't know. Josiah has been (laughs) here for like two (laughs) weeks. This is like the second week of a podcast episode. He's just casually in. He's literally been here for two weeks. 
It's awesome. It feels like we're like fucking 20 again. I know. It feels I like know. we're roommates. Like Wait, guys. And they were roommates. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Never. I was thinking that. It does feel like 1304. <laughs> Kai, oh, we didn't know you. You, you might as well have not existed like back then. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well have like not like been on the planet. Like you, you were so like... Coming. <laughs> <laughs> the way we all are like, <laughs> Wait, wait, can you do a cut? 1304 was a very special time. Oh, it was literally the best time. I remember Josh used to always be like, oh, the salad days, the salad days. And now I, I'm like, yeah, so true. The dog days are oh, over. Oh, oh, the, the dog, dog days are over. Damn, only 10 minutes have passed since we talked about it. <laughs> Only Holy 10 shit. minutes have happened. Dude, every time we're filming, Kai will like say a random number to us because we'll get to a point where we're like, well, damn. Damn, I mean, what else do, you what else do I say right us? now? And then Kai will be like, yeah, y'all have been going for like seven minutes. <laughs> and, sometimes, and I'm like, oh, that was 34 minutes. Yeah, like sometimes I believe it. Yeah. And then sometimes I don't because then I remember Joe's, um, Kai is like a, a liar. liar. I'm not a liar. Ew, why'd you say it with that face? You had like... A- oh, fucking Inya, don't do that. I didn't do shit, motherfucker. That literally hurt so bad. I didn't do anything. You wish I would touch oh you again. Oh my god. You missed my touch. Admit it. Say you missed my touch. <laughs> you see what they deal with? Say you missed my touch, Drew. You see this? I mean, it's true. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that scared me. <laughs> Wait, I like those things in um like in haunted houses that pop up and then go back down slowly. Ooh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just <laughs> that sucked. That was like an Ellen saying one of the editors. Bad. Wait, can you see me in the show? Yes. Yes, like, bitch. The, the whole thing. I'm gonna be here every. Wait, um, one time <laughs> when I was in guess. a one time when I was in a haunted house when I was like uh, fourteen. Okay, but 15. like you're lying now because you weren't fourteen or fifteen <laughs> ever. Like you were never fourteen or fifteen. Um, I hit one of the employees in the face because it freaked me out, and I swung and hit them in the face, and the mask they were wearing like turned because it was like a big head and it turned. Um, and then I got yelled at. <laughs> Are you taking photos of me? Why are you taking photos of me back there on my phone? Okay, well, should we get into media? Dude, I wish I had, like, good media. I haven't seen a movie since I started playing Fortnite. I have a great media. Um, I saw Nope. All, oh, wait. All my friends, when I, I was like, oh, my God, I want to see Nope really bad. All my friends on yeah. the one day I worked all day went to go see it without me. And it was so much sweeter. What's, you, the though. good news is someone in there had COVID <laughs> and they're going to have it, but like not with symptoms, but you, they're all going to see their family. And someone soon. on set had monkeypox. Yeah, it was me, bitch. <laughs> and now um, you have it. But no, I saw uh, Nope and it was literally a masterpiece. Ah, I wouldn't say mat- ah. masterpiece. I'd say like ah. it was a really, really amazing take on that style of movie. I don't want to say what happened in it or if you don't know because you should go see it without, like, knowing what's going (laughs) on and go into it completely blind. But, like, yeah, I've never seen some of these takes made and I've it was really awesome. And, like, the modeling of certain things was really fucking cool. And, oh, fuck. (laughs) Whoa. Whoa, um, and <laughs> no. no, you're gonna stay back there. You and you're gonna bitch. learn your lesson. You're gonna stay back there for 10 minutes. It's so hot back here. Oh, fuck. Look at this. Um, yeah, you got it. Uh, but yeah, Nope was literally so great. Like, so fun, so great. Um, I don't have anything else to say. Um, and the second ep- episode of the rehearsal is the best comedy episode of comedy the best episode of comedy i've ever seen in my entire life on television simply yeah it's unreal it's fucked up um my media of the sleigh is um 
any song by Don Omar because it reminds me of being like seven and getting my head busted open in a bounce house. Nasty by Ariana Grande mm -hmm. and Helmet by Steve Lacey. Mm. So nasty is also for me. Josiah says Nasty is a part of his media as well. Judas by Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wichita Lineman by Glenn Campbell. Oh, wow. And then Pondy Floor by Major Lazer. <laughs> um. Hey! And then we get the Voo Voo Suelos. <laughs> uh, World Cup vibes. <laughs> Oh, that's for Drew's butt. I pop I, him up there and he hangle. He like and he just hangs puts down. my b hole right there and it just goes like mm -hmm. right in. Yeah, and then in he hangs there, down like a little it, doll. It hurts, but it presses against my prostate in yeah, like in a, a really very way. clear way. Help! <laughs> Help! All me. right. Hello. Bye. Bye. All right. Let's leave him back there. Yeah. Let's go. Kai. Yeah. Kai. Oh, hey. Kai, please, can you hear me? Do not. But he seems like he needs help. Let me out. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I'm not supposed to help you for some reason.